Hello with Blocks Makers. Some time back, we had made this cool video where we were controlling Subway Surfer using our latest Accelerator Blocks and many of you requested for a tutorial. So here we are. Today, we'll be playing Subway Surfer using our latest Accelerator Blocks and Arduino. To do this, we need to follow these steps. Step 1. Take tilt input from Accelerator TX and receive it in Accelerator RX. Step 2. Get the data in Arduino, classify these data into correct directions and send these directions via the serial monitor. Step 3. Now capture the direction data in Python and convert this into respective keyboard clicks. Finally, this data will result in jump, duck, left and right movements on Subway Surfer. So let's get started. We will need two power blocks, two batteries, an XLO blocks pair, Arduino Uno board and some jumper wires. And remember, all of the parts to make this project are available on the Bitblocks app and in the description below. Now let's make the circuit. First we'll power the Axel Row and the Axel Row RX using the power blocks. Then join the four ports on the Axel Row RX blocks to Arduino Uno digital pins 2, 3, 4 and 5. For Axel Row ports 3 and 4, it is recommended to use a strip jumper cable for better connection. Here is the connection diagram. This will help us read gesture data from Axel Row in Arduino and then process it. We will also add a common ground wire between the Arduino Uno and Axel Row to avoid garbage values in the input. Getting tilt data from the Axel Row blocks is very simple. Just switch on the power. Keep the switch on the Axel Row blocks in RX mode and tilt the Axel Row in the desired direction. Based on this, different ports on the Axel Row RX will get activated. Forward tilt will activate ports 1 and 2. Backward tilt will activate port 3 and 4. Left tilt will activate ports 2 and 3. Right tilt will activate ports 1 and 4. Now, let's get the Axel Row blocks to talk to Arduino. All the code files are available in the description below. Our goal with this step is to receive the tilt data from Axel Row classify it into forward, backward, left and right directions and broadcast it over the Arduino's serial monitor. To classify the incoming Axelo data into directions, we will add if and else conditions in the Arduino code. For instance, if ports 1 and 2 are active, the direction is forward and if ports 3 and 4 are active, the direction will be backward. Similar logic will apply for left and right directions. Once the data is classified, we will broadcast the directions as a string over the Arduino's serial monitor. This is done so that the directions can be converted into button clicks. For this, we will use Python programming where the input will be Arduino direction data and the output will be relevant button clicks. First, we will receive the incoming data using the Pi serial library. Then using Pi auto GUI and if conditions, we will convert the direction data into relevant button clicks. Based on our needs, we will use the up, down, left and right arrow keys in the code. Since we need to check for tilt directions continuously, we will add a while true loop in the code. If we use the direction data directly, buttons will be pressed continuously until a new direction is received. This would cause the game to end very quickly. So instead of this, we will make a logic where the button press will happen only when a change of direction happens. Finally, we'll test all of this together. Start by running the Arduino code and check whether the data is received and the movements are classified. Then we'll run the Python program and check for keyboard inputs. Now it's time for the final test with Subway Surfer. Also, did you know 
that just with a few changes we can control car racing games and presentations effortlessly. Don't forget to hit the like button and let us know which tutorial we should make next.